Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Thursday morning forecast update. We have hit the coldest day of the week. It will look warm and inviting as you're looking out the window. All that sun shining out today, but it is definitely going to be cold and breezy. Highs likely in the 40s this afternoon, but we will be warming up over the New Year's weekend comfortably back in the 60s, and we're still calling for that slight chance of rain Sunday night into Monday morning, so New Year's Eve is where rain in the new year we may have a few raindrops passing through i'll get to that in just a moment but for today again we'll start out in the 20s and 30s here and uh, just kind of struggle to break out of the mid 40s this afternoon we've got high pressure building in just to the north of us so it is continuing to funnel in that uh, chilly north breeze which has dropped our temperatures here into the 20s and 30s this morning may see a few more clouds today but still calling it to be mostly sunny to partly cloudy this afternoon but that uh, cool north breeze keeping the arctic air flowing through today. Wind is relatively light now, but after a sunrise, we'll feel the winds up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So high temperatures today, mid to upper 40s, factor in that wind about 15 miles per hour, and that will shave about five degrees off the actual temperature. So I think for most of the day, we'll feel like it's in the upper 30s and low 40s. So make sure you have the jacket for any of those outdoor plans today. There's a look at your Robins to a future cast. It does show a few more clouds, especially for the I-30 corridor today, but uh, definitely will not be any rain, any type of precipitation with the extremely dry air that we have in place. And again, tonight we'll be back below freezing into the 20s as well as the low 30s. And we'll begin to see some changes over the weekend. Again, I think great weather Saturday and Sunday. If you're planning some daytime things, New Year's Eve on Sunday, maybe some cookouts or just some barbecues in the backyard with the family should be a fantastic day for that with temperatures in the 60s. But we'll show you here again after sunset on Sundays. Uh, many of you will be out there at some of the fireworks shows. We're actually showing a little bit of light rain still passing through the region. This will not be a washout. It's not anything I'm too concerned about, but we'll keep an eye on it. Still calling for about 20 to 30 percent chance of rain as we uh, hit midnight on New Year's. And we're showing the temperatures likely in the mid to upper 40s. Consider most of the week our nighttime temperatures have been in the 20s and 30s by comparison. Actually, should be pretty comfortable night as long as we can avoid any heavy rain. And it looks like that will be the case for us. And that rain will likely taper off pretty quickly on Monday mornings. That 20 percent chance of rain likely anytime before 9 a.m. but I think we'll be drying out quickly and it will be a chilly start to 2024 as we'll have highs in the 50s much of next week and it looks like we're kind of back into the rain middle of next week we have some rain coming in likely Tuesday night into Wednesday.